So Vim can be divided into three parts. First, Vim motions. Vim motions consist of modes and commands that help developers navigate and edit code more efficiently. Second, the Vim editor. This is the actual Vim binary that we can install to load project files and edit them. And third, Vim plugins. Vim functionality can be extended using many community-maintained plugins. You can literally turn the Vim editor into Vim as an IDE. In this video, we will explore Vim motions. Using Vim motions, you can write and navigate through code blazingly fast. Every popular IDE comes with a Vim plugin, so you can open VS Code and start using Vim. To do that, search for the Vim extension inside VS Code and install it. This enables Vim navigation inside VS Code itself. Vim comes with three modes, normal mode, insert mode, and visual mode. Think of these modes as two separate keyboards sitting on top of each other. The keyboard on top is normal mode, where you type all the Vim commands. The keyboard at the bottom is where you actually write code. This is called insert mode. Visual mode works on top of normal mode and helps us visually select and manipulate text. Visual mode has two different varieties, normal visual mode and block visual mode. Normal visual mode works the same as selecting text with a mouse, while block visual mode helps you select text as a block. Vim also provides a leader key, which helps us add one more layer of shortcuts on top of normal mode. However, that is for additional personal shortcuts and is not within the scope of today's video. There is another special mode called command mode, which helps us give commands to the text editor. To save, we use the right command with the letter W. To set line numbers, the set numbers command is used. Vim supports thousands of such commands. Let's open a simple React app and begin navigating. The idea is to not lift hands from the keyboard. Remember, everything I am typing is in normal mode, so all key events will be treated as commands, and new characters won't appear on the screen. To navigate up, down, left, and right, we don't have to use arrow keys. Instead, we can use H, J, K, and L. H and L help us go right and left, while J and K help us move down and up, respectively. These commands can be prefixed with a number. Typing 5J will move us five times down. Using W will navigate forward word by word. Using B will navigate backward word by word. This way, we will jump to the beginning of every word. To jump at the end of a word, we have to use the E key. These keys can be prefixed with a number. Typing 5W will move us five words forward. The DOG key helps us jump to the end of the line, and the zero key helps us jump to the beginning of the line. Using caret, we jump to the first non-empty character on the line. To jump to a specific character on the line, we can use the F key in combination with the character where we want to jump. So, to jump to the next dot, we type F followed by dot. To jump to the previous dot, we type capital F followed by dot. Next, let's see vertical navigation. To move one sentence up or down, we can use parentheses. And to move one paragraph up and down, we can use curly braces. Control D and Control U help us move up and down half a page at a time. To move by a full page, we use Control F and Control B. To move to the start of the page, we use two times G. And to move to the end of the page, we use capital G. There are different ways to enter into insert mode in Vim. Notice the cursor on the screen. We may want to insert text at different locations around this cursor. If we want to insert text before the cursor, we can press the I key on the keyboard, and we will be able to insert text before the cursor. Using the letter A, we will be able to insert text after the cursor. We can insert text at the beginning of the line by pressing the capital I key on the keyboard and insert at the end of the line using the capital A letter. We can insert text after the current line using the letter O and before the current line using capital O. Apart from the I, O, and A keys, we can use the C key to change a word or the S key to replace the current character and enter into insert mode. Using the keys Y and P, we can copy and paste text. We can copy a whole line using YY and paste it using the letter P. 
It is also possible to copy text between parentheses, curly braces, or square brackets using YI and the respective curly brace, square bracket, or parenthesis. To copy text, including curly braces, we can use Y, A, and curly brace. Let's paste a few lines. Now, by pressing U, we will undo the last change. Let's undo it multiple times by pressing U several times. If we want to redo it, we can press Control R and we can redo all the changes. We can type the key D and either W, S, or P to delete a word, sentence, or paragraph. We can delete a whole line by typing D twice. It is also possible to delete up to a specific character by pressing DT and a particular character. The dot is the repeat key. We can repeat any operation performed in normal mode. Let's perform the change word operation by typing C, I, and W. This stands for change inner word. Now we can go to any word and repeat the operation by simply typing the dot key. We can search forward by typing a forward slash and the search term. This will match the first result forward from the cursor position. We can iterate on search results forward by typing the N key on the keyboard. We can iterate backward by typing the capital N letter. We can search forward for the word under the cursor by typing the star key on the keyboard. We can search for the current word backward by pressing the hash key. Marks in Vim are like bookmarks. To mark a position with the letter A, we can type M and the A key. This action bookmarks the position under the letter A. Now, if we move around and want to return to the bookmark, we can type the backtick character and the name of the bookmark. Vim has lots of predefined bookmarks and two essential bookmarks are available. First, if we want to toggle between the last two visited places, we can type backtick twice and we will toggle between the last two positions. Second, if we want to visit the position where the last editing happened, we can type backtick and the dot key. We will cover the remaining Vim features, such as folding, indenting, and macro recording in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.